Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back for app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash Course, we will be talking about files. A lot of applications has to store files in order for it to work, and today I'll show you how Parse makes it really easy for uploading files. So, the very first thing I have to do is, I had a, a new file, I put it in the same uh, directory of my application, so you can see here, image.jpg, and I'm going to upload that to Parse. So if I come back to my code, the first thing I have to do is I have to read that file and I'll do that using the node model called fs file stream. So const fs equals require fs. And that's pretty much all I have to do in order to read files. So I'm going to create a new file called let my file equals fs dot read sync read file sync and pass my image dot jpeg and parse stores files in a base 64 or nullable bytes formats so I'm going to do to string and pass it as base64. I can console log that to check if everything went well, so console log my file. If I go back to my console and type node index.js, you'll see my file is being written as base64 string and everything is alright. So, now I have to create a parse file in order to store that content. I'm going to do that by typing let my photo equals new parse.file and I'm going to pass the file name for it, so my file.jpg and I have to pass an object here telling parse I'm using the base64 method for storing. So base64 and my file and then I can write that to a class. I'm going to create a new class called let photo equals parse dot object dot extend photo and instantiate a new object so let photo equals new photo and then I can start setting properties for that so dot set and photo will be my property and I can pass my photo here. Also I'm going to set a property called name just because of reasons and Alex and then I can save my photo. So photo.save. If I go back to my console and type node index.js, you'll see my base64 string there and finish it correctly. So if I come back to Safari and reload, you see I have my photo class here and my new object there. My name is Alex and my photo is there. I can click it to download, to replace or delete that file and I'm going to get the link for this and open in a new tab and there you go, you have my photo stored in parse. So this was the episode for today, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you back on the next videos. So see you soon, bye bye.